Hello children, welcome to Science 5. I am your teacher MJ, Quarter 2, Module 7, Reproduction in Plants. Department of Education, Region 10, Northern Mindanao, Alternative Delivery Mode. With teacher MJ. What I need to know In this module, you are expected to describe the different modes of reproduction in flowering and unflowering plants such as moss, fern, mongo, and others. What is it? You can see different types of plants everywhere. They differ in size, shape, color, smell, and even in their mode of reproduction. Like animals, plants need to continuously reproduce themselves. They reproduce through their seeds while some utilize other means. In this module, you will learn more about different ways of plants and reproduction. All living organisms are capable of giving birth to young ones which are either exactly the same or somewhat similar to them. Can you tell me what is this process of giving birth to an offspring known as? The process is called reproduction. In simple terms, it's defined as the process in which living organisms give birth to an offspring which is the same or similar to them. Now when I say living organisms, it should include plants as well, right? Yes, of course. We have seen a new plant emerging from a seed when sown in the ground. Where does the seed come from? It comes from some plant, right? Absolutely. But wait, have we seen all the plants always giving us flowers, fruits and seeds? No, there are many plants that do not bear flowers and fruits. So don't these plants reproduce? Or do they reproduce by some other means? Let's answer all these questions in this video. Reproduction in plants can occur in two major ways. One type is asexual reproduction and the second is sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction, as the name suggests, involves sex cells or gametes. So a new individual is born when gametes from both male and female parents fuse. Now can you guess what asexual reproduction will be? In contrast to the previous type, asexual reproduction does not involve gametes. It is a type in which some part of the parent body will be capable of growing into a new organism. Interesting, isn't it? But which part of the parent body will grow into a new organism? Based on various factors, asexual reproduction is further categorized into subtypes. A few of these include the vegetative propagation, fragmentation, budding and spore formation. Multiple choice. Encircle the letter of the word or group of words that will correctly complete the sentence. Number one. What do you call the reproduction in plants where the male and female parts of the flowers are involved? 
A. Asexual B. Body C. Pollination D. Sexual Number 2. Which part of the plant cannot undergo vegetative propagation? A. Steam B. Fruit C. Leaves D. Roots Number 3. What type of pollination happens when pollen grains from another are transferred to the stigma of a flower that belongs to the same plant? A. A cursed pollination B. Autopollination C. Cross pollination and D. Self pollination Number 4. Which plant can reproduce through bulb? A. Coconut B. Fur C. Mango D. Onion Number 5. What kind of reproduction involves only one parent plant? A. Sexual B. Fertilization C. Pollination and D. Sexual Number 6. Which of the following example is a tuber? A. Guava plant B. Mango plant C. Orange plant or D. Potato plant Which of the following is a rhizome? A. Corn B. Katakataka C. Ginger D. Onion Number 8. What would happen if a butterfly seeds nectar from a flower? A. Flower could wilt B. Pestle could break C. Stamin could develop a tube or letter D. Pollen grains could fall on the stigma. Number 9. What kind of reproduction uses pollen grains? Letter A. Asexual B. Fragmentation C. Propagation or letter D. Sexual Number 10. Which is true about asexual propagation? A. Only plants use asexual propagation. B. All organisms use asexual reproduction. C. There is only one parent involved in asexual reproduction. D. There are at least two parents involved in asexual reproduction. <laughs> 